What's up guys and welcome back to Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. Today, we're going big. I'm talking GWC Goliath big, baby. Look at this unit, 132 gallon fuel tank, $133,000. That is extremely, extremely steep, but um, it's going to be worth it. Now, this is a modded vehicle. It's not like officially in the game, but it's an official mod available. So I've been thinking... I'm really enjoying this series so far. Expeditions has been fun, but it kind of feels at times like there's something missing when compared to SnowRunner. I think part of that's the delivery missions. I miss taking like crazy cranes and, and giant pipes and stuff like that and delivering to far off places. But I think the biggest thing is the trucks. Obviously, Expeditions kind of lends itself to smaller scout vehicles venturing out into the unknown. It's very cool, but I also miss just plowing through it with big vehicles and obviously this is going to help out with that now in terms of this game if you think about the actual base trucks there's only one heavy vehicle at launch which is this tatra forest t815-7 i don't know where to get this thing i don't know what attempt to ford the river is we're gonna have to find that at some point i'm sure we're gonna be able to unlock this but uh, for now this is what we have. Got a couple of engine options here so we can improve power in exchange for less fuel consumption. I don't know if that's worth it. Gearbox, there's a 10 speed default, 10 speed highway, eight speed heavy off road. That sounds pretty good. Suspension, we're gonna go with a lifted suspension on this thing. We've got 51 inch tires, average, excellent, excellent. There's ice tires, looks like it's more of like a visual thing than anything else for us. I'm going to go with heavy off-road here. And then for winch, of course, we're going to go with the stage four winch. We are absolutely maxing this thing out. This makes me nervous because we spent like 70% of our, our bankroll on this. Frame modules. We can go with a flatbed, short flatbed, sideboard. Definitely want sideboard. Short sideboard or a fuel tank. I'm going to go with sideboard because that's going to open up a bunch of of cargo spaces. So I'm gonna put some jack screws on here. We'll put some anchors on there. We're spending a lot of money, but that's fine. I'm gonna put some extra fuel in there. I honestly don't even know if we're gonna need that much fuel. I don't know how bad this thing is. I'm gonna focus on, ah, uh, let's do two and two. Okay, so we're gonna have a fully loaded truck. We've got all kinds of abilities and devices and things like that. I'm feeling pretty good. We've got a Kane Ashita as our operator for our drone. I'm also going to go with Anwar Farsi so we aren't taking any water damage. I guess we could potentially roll with a secondary vehicle just in case. I'll throw our con in here. Highly doubt we're going to need him, but we'll see what happens. So this is Glamour Shot. So good. I'm glad you're here. Think you'd be up for a job. I'm scouting locations in the area for a series called The Great Outdoors, but the train is too wild for my car. So we're gonna be going out, I guess starting at the Northern Outpost and uh, let's get it. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this giant military vehicle. We got her fully loaded down with spare parts and anything else we could possibly desire. See what she looks like fired up. Oh my goodness, dude, this is, this is what I'm talking about. I've missed the big trucks. So we are going to be scouting a location all the way over here. Why did we spawn here? I'm going to I'm going to spawn our truck over here at this field of operation base. So we're going to cross this forward. We're going to come up this way. We have done this hill climb before. We know that we have this this little rock slide thing here that we haven't been able to tackle, but we've got the the spare parts for it now. So here we go. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Oh my goodness, dude. This thing is going to be a monster look at all those wheels up front turning in unison this is gonna be amazing i'm a little worried about our fuel but it looks like we're kind of chilling 1.5 to two gallons a minute depending on how hard we're working typically staying under two we should be okay we got a bunch of extra fuel we're gonna be just fine baby should be able to just cross so many spots that are normally a little bit sketchy we're so long here we can just not worry about tipping over obviously sideways tipping is still a big concern but look at that that's what i'm talking about dude this is what we've missed holy cow just an absolute unit of a machine are you freaking kidding me <laughs> 
not a care in the world. Look at the way this thing just crawls over the rocks. This is what we need heavy machinery for. Look at all that axle flex there. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we want to make our way to this. I'm going to set our objective up there. I think easiest route's just going to be up here through the trees. Let's go, baby. We don't even have all-wheel drive on currently. All-wheel... Oh, it puts the... So we've got quad-axle drive here. We've got power to eight wheels whenever we want it. <laughs> 130 grand well spent, that's for sure. Okay, make our way up here. I mean, this is... We, we could check our... It gets a little deep. I think we might just be able to go through here. Let's see what happens. If we just push and continue pushing. Now the thing is, if we get this thing stuck, we're gonna be in big trouble. So we don't wanna get it stuck, but I, I think we're in good shape here. Keep it up. Yes, sir. Little worried about this one, but we should be okay. We've got that huge winch as well oh yeah I'm I'm kind of turned on I'm not gonna lie to you okay so we I don't know how we got through here before the problem is we aren't gonna be able to sneak through the trees like a lot of people can hmm I think I think we missed our mark I think we've got to go back here okay Yep. I mean, she's she's good, but she's she's not unbeatable. There are going to be situations where we need to be very smart about where we place her. I'm a little worried about the depth of this, but it looks like we might be okay. Oh my goodness, dude. Stop it. You are talking so dirty to me right now. Stuck on this branch. Hold on a second. Back this up. Might want to put her in all-wheel drive. That should help us out quite a bit. And I'm hoping this is a... We could push trees out of the way. But I'm hoping this is a bit of a path we can take. There's another tree blocking it. Why must they do this to us? Can I get this out of the way? Can I run this over? Come on, baby. Make that your... Not gonna say it on YouTube. Try to keep some ad revenue. Let's go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Just an absolutely mighty machine. Keeping the all-wheel drive. We could put the, the diff lock is not available. But we can winch ourselves up. Here we go. Eight wheels of absolute monstrosity coming up this mountain. You are not gonna tell it no. I tell you that right now. Four-wheel drive off. We're just plowing through gas. About a, a tenth down so far. We're okay. So our objective is going to be... We've got to climb. B to get to this. I want to go open this thing up so we have access to other parts of the map. That's going to help us out in future situations. And then we should be able to use our binoculars and drone up here. This is why we bring all the spare parts. So 75 spare parts. Boom. Taken care of. Okay. We're going to shut this thing down for a minute. Give her a little rest. Actually, we should probably start with the binox. Let's just kind of survey the area. We're at 62%, 68 already. Looks like we've got a lot on the back side of this mountain. I'm just going to place that marker there. It's only 141 meters away, so we should just be able to fly our drone over here. And scouting this should be no problem at all. 71%, 72, 74. I mean, I don't think, even with the ability of this thing, I don't think we're going to be climbing this mountain back here, but we can fly our drone around. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot more drone flying and exploring areas in this game when you compare it to SnowRunner, and I, I really do. I missed the delivery missions. I think that was a missed, a missed step. I would have loved kind of like a, a real true SnowRunner sequel more than anything. 
me see what else we're looking for. So we got all that. We're going to be looking for this area over here. Throw our drone up and see if we can get her there. Yeah, that's close. Um, I miss the big vehicles. I miss making the far out deliveries out in the woods and out in the snow. And it, it just like... I really do like the scouting missions in this, but I, I feel like there's less variety. We used to scout a lot in the other game too. And I... We're just missing some stuff in this one, I feel like. Take a photo of the Double Mountain Peak. Which is all the way over there. Do we think we can crawl along this ridge? I mean, only one way to find out. Let's fire her up. Here we go, baby. Oh. Okay. You know what? Might want to put the all-wheel drive on. The winch isn't going to work very well against baby trees we gotta keep in mind what we're working with here let me throw the handbrake on and we're gonna go down to low pressure yes come on baby definitely feel like our weight is working against us here helping us get traction but that gravity pulling us down backwards is, is not helping either okay I don't know if this is the the right direction. Are we sh sure? I mean, it it looks like we could just ride the ridge line. Okay, this this is going to be an interesting one. Back to normal tire pressure. I think we nah, let's stay all wheel drive. I was going to say we might be able to get away with two. We honestly might want to go medium tire pressure inflation. Dude, this is. Can you imagine piloting? Something like this. Just an absolute monster. We want to go left here, Trev. Oh, 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 oh. We're fine. But just knowing you have the ability to crawl something this size. It like It's like when you look at cruise ships and you're like, okay, well, that shouldn't be able to float. Or you see an airplane and you're like, well, there's no way that thing should fly. It's too big. This thing is too big to be doing this. Just an absolute monster among men. I don't know how we're gonna handle this. Might just have to send it and hope for the best. Try to clear the mirror on that side, we're good. Come on. Come on, baby. Get her there. Get her there. All right. I mean, this... Is a oh god oh no oh no hang in there let's go oh my god <laughs> keep plowing girl that's what I'm talking about oh this is so epic I I feel like a billy goat this shouldn't be possible I feel like this this is not necessarily the machine for this but we're we're gonna keep pushing i definitely i think our con would have been better suited as long as we could have brought enough spare parts to be able to un avalanche that avalanche look at the peak up there dude let me just run these trees over please get out of my way thank you please and thank you let me let me just go straight to my objective this is what i've been missing dude just straight manliness okay we're gonna grab this what do you want me to take a picture of the du oh the double peak okay i'm sorry the dude the the what's it called in this is is so bad okay we're gonna get this thing in focus should be close there it is got it wrong zoom that's the zoom at once there okay get him in focus there it is send it got it beautiful that's what i'm talking about and it looks like it's going to want us to continue on. Dude, what? Conduct a visual inspection of the large oak. You want me to go up this? Say the word, I'm there. We do have our anchor points if we need them. You absolute monster. Go, okay. Oh, God. Hello? 
Okay, uh, our tire's in the, the rock. So something funky happened here. I put a winch down. This thing's so big, every single tree is just getting pulled out. I think we might be in trouble here from like a, like a we, we might be stuck, stuck. Like I, I, we, we phased through the, the rock situation um yeah none, none of these none of these guys are working that's really unfortunate i mean we we could try to fast travel we're just gonna have to i think we got all the things working but we have two tires inside the rock i this is just a game bug i don't think it's anything else okay we're we're gonna go back to the northern outposts recover back there and we're just gonna have to approach it from this angle let me just run over my, my camping equipment real quick. Not a big deal. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. We wouldn't let us use a jack screw to reset ourselves either. We were straight up like the wheel was stuck in the rock. So I guess we'll just have to deal with that. Cost us an extra five grand, but we are not going to take no for an answer. I'm going to try to get up this. Oh, my goodness, dude. This thing is so sick. <laughs> find a good sturdy tree to get us up and we need to get down oh uh this doesn't seem ideal skip to daytime shoot drone hmm yeah this ain't it chief let me back off don't fall dude i love the way the nose of this is is such an aggressively shaped feature because you can reach stuff that you don't think you're going to be able to reach. Uh, shoot. We just try to push these trees out of the way. Oop. Not going to straight break it, but we can push the branches. Get through. How are we How are we looking here, boss? Trying to get our nose around through there. Maybe. This is a tight fit, but we made it. I'm hoping we can go down this way. Oh my good dude. I sat there and rubbed against that tree for ages. I'm really hoping we can go down this way. I, I feel fairly confident with the size that we have here. I think we should. As long as we don't get sideways or stuck on that boulder like that. Okay, we're good to go. All that because we didn't want to go straight out of the base and go around and go down the beach. We used a lot of gas there, but we're going to be okay. Don't get swept off the waterfall here, Trev. Let me see. I think we're going to want to go left. We're going to be just fine here, baby. Just fine. The question is, is do we want to potentially go all the way left and go up that? Let me take a look. Could we climb right there on the left and get up on top of this mountain? Is that where? No, that's not even where we want to be. We just want to get around. I think we want to go down there, go across. We're going to have to find a climb over there, which looks really difficult, but we're going to do our best. Here we go. So do we have deep water for the most part? Is it? I think we can get across here. Deep water, no problem, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we just need to find a way through the trees without falling. We're good. I didn't like that rock there, but we're okay. Dude, this thing is such a freaking big truck to try to maneuver. Keep us to the left of this tree so we can get by it. Thank you, Mr. Winch. Little trees we just run over. Sorry about it. Here, swing me around this. There we go. Dude, this is insane. This thing, like, it comes with its own challenges. Come on. Somebody save me. Don't do that. Hold on. I think we can save this. We're going to go winch. We want to get it on the, the very side, top side. And let's find the, the sturdiest tree. 
I don't know which one the sturdiest is going to be. Probably that guy. Come on. Got him. Got him. Got him. We ain't going. We ain't going out like that, baby. Just don't fall again, Trev. Okay. Uh, I'm going to back this up like this. I hope we can make it across this. I, I'm just going to send it. Just going to send it. Just gonna hope for the best. Just gonna freaking plow. Really weird way to, to say that, Trev. But just gonna go straight through the water. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Right or left. It looks like we've got entrances both ways. It does look like it's really deep in both places. I think we might be able to go. I got my parking brake on. I think we can go through deep water with this. I think it's... Yes. Are you kidding me, dude? Look at the way the water... <laughs> okay. Let me shut this off. We're going to save a little bit of gas. Dude, this is just so ridiculously fun. Um, I think that might be our climb like right there. And then we're going to come back across. That's got to be it. Okay. So we got to go left. Dude, I, I mean, we obviously, we can't go in like deep, deep, deep water, but we can go in fairly deep water with this thing. No problem. Just don't slip and fall off the rocks here. Which I feel like you're kind of tempted to do. Good catch with the winch. There it is. That's the one we want. We're just going to have to winch ourselves all the way up. Put the parking brake on. We're going to go fully reduced tire pressure. And we're going up this freaking mountain, dude. We are going straight up the side of this mountain. I'm going to hope we have some... Shoot, the problem is... Come on. Can we grab this guy? Come on. We're on some loose rocks here. There we go. We keep pulling out the little trees. We're really hurting our future chances of coming through here. We need the, the big trees, the big trees, the ones that don't break. I'm gonna hit e-brake here. We're gonna skip ahead to some, some daytime so we can see what's going on. Um, might use our drone. I mean, this looks really sketch, but we just got to keep going. I don't think we have a choice. Dude, how is this even even possible? Look ahead, not behind. There's a reason why the windshield's bigger than the rear view, Trev. Come on, baby. Dude, these loose rocks that we keep hitting. We are kicking them down the hill, though. Oh, yeah, that, that reed is for sure going to help us out. Okay, e-brake. I'm not even going to mess with it. We're... Oh, we can't even put one up there. Why can't we put one above us? I guess we'll put one to the, the right. I'll put one right there. Screw it. If it gets us there. Gets us around this corner. Do I need to put it in low negative? Just crawl. Just get... Get whatever you can and crawl. Shoot. We're pulling every tree down. Oh, that was a... That's a big tree up there. That's a big one. That's that's one that's actually pulling this thing up here. <laughs> Dude. Stop it. Look at this truck and the way it's coming up this mountain. Dude, this is outrageous. Keep pulling, baby. Keep pulling, baby. All right. I'm going to put her back in, in auto. And we made it. Okay. That's how we get it done. Thank you, good sir. Thank you for your strong root system, your so strong support. Thank you for all the years of growing that you did. And we just honestly probably decimated most of it. I really hope he doesn't end up dying for all the pulling we just did. This is going to be kind of a tight fit. Don't mess this up, Trev. Come through here. I think with a smaller vehicle, this would have been a lot easier. But at the same time, this was pretty epic. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at that tree up there. I bet I could pull that thing out. Tell me it's going to ask me to go go climb that. I don't think it will. 
Got him. Dude, I, I, I love the big rigs. This oak looks majestic. We need close-up photos of it. Are you freaking kidding me? It wants me back over there. Bruv. I think our best bet, our best bet's going to be to respawn over here. As much as I hate to say it. We're going to have to pay another 5,000 recovery fee. I mean... There's no climb on this side, so we'd be going all the way back around. I just don't even think it's worth the time. Okay, well, we're spending a lot of money today. That's fine. I'm going to trade with our con. I'm going to take all the, the gas out of it. Thanks, buddy. This, uh, this could end up being a bad idea in case he has to come to us, so I'm actually going to leave him with a full tank. Okay. If we somehow get turned around and we can't can't right the, the wrongs and we need to finish this thing out, I don't want to be left with no money or no no gas. This is the ridiculous part here, getting through this. I probably skipped a lot of that earlier, but trying to get through these trees here is not easy. Let's, let's get this together. Come on, baby. You got to go left of that and then we got to go left of this one right here. Nope, we're gonna have to go forward enough to get past it. And then we gotta back this up and honestly hit the winch to help move us to get past it. Don't let your tires catch on it. Now we're past it with our front tire. We can start turning right and then we can go down this. That was like, actually not that hard the second time around. Don't hit this with too much. Keep the tires rolling. We're good to go. And now we're just going to be climbing this mountain this time, which should be a lot easier. I just love that we can do the way the water and everything works. Take a left here. Hopefully this isn't a bad idea. Oh, <laughs> do your thing, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Um, I would think. We want to go left here. I don't think we're making it up that. So let's be smart. Let's go to this left area. Pull us through. Come on, baby. We're stuck on something. Dude, these... Honestly, the little loose rocks are the bane of our existence with this thing. We... I think we want to go all the way left. And then we're going to try to turn and face this climb head on. I hope we're going to be able to do this. I think I'm going to go left of these trees. We don't really have a lot to push us here, so let's... Let's hope for the best. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You got this. Stay true. Can we reach that tree up there? We can. Beautiful. Okay. A lot easier than the first time around. Can we... Split these trees. Be careful with the reverse, Trev. Split the trees. Discovered a new airdrop. It's got some scrap metal, recyclable materials. Can be disassembled into parts at the workshop. I'll take both of those. I'll... I mean, we've got space in the... Oh, we don't have space in the inventory. I was going to say, I'll take the last one as well, but no. And from mountaintop to mountaintop, we're going to be able to get this final photo here. Take a picture of this majestic tree. How zoomed in do you want it? This guy right here. Bam, there it is. Had to do a lot to be able to get to that, but that's an expedition complete. That's what I'm talking about. Made 28 grand for that. Took less than 100 damage. We did have to recover the truck, unfortunately. It just, it, it would have been a really, really long time otherwise. But that looks pretty good. All right, we're going to go back to the HQ. We, I'm going to do one more mission in this episode, and this is a big one. We finally got to it. It's taken us a long time, but white spots. We are interested in a reconnaissance expedition in remote corners of the reserve. Don't think that we don't know what our territory looks like. We just want to update the information we have about the state of the reserve. So it looks like... We're going to be going to two far away areas. I'm going to stick with the big dog. I, I love this thing, man. This is so good.
I'm going to do one jack screw, one anchor, couple parts. 350 is probably pretty good. I honestly don't even know if we're going to need that. I don't want to waste too much money. I don't even think we need the extra fuel. I'm just going to do two sets of parts. And then we can have a, a bonus slot with our, our con just in case. But we the, the last one was a fairly difficult mission and we, we did really well. I'm going to definitely put our hydrologist on there as well as our, our drone person. I think that's going to be a, a staple going forward. But um, yeah, I love this thing, man. I don't think we'll keep it just because it's... You know, obviously this is a modded vehicle. I, I like using the mods in this game. I think we're going to continue to use mods just for fun, interesting, different episodes. I think it's kind of cheesy to keep a mod long term and use it a ton. I think we just use it in random one-offs and stuff. So I'll definitely miss her. Maybe we'll use her again. Maybe we'll we'll probably end up selling her. And then maybe we'll decide we want to buy her back again one day. We'll see what happens. But might as well use her while we got her here. Let's go ahead and go full all-wheel drive. And it looks like we are going to be heading down towards the south farther than we've ever been. And we've also got this area over here, which is actually already 25% explored, which is nice. So to be honest, this is probably going to be a, a pretty easy mission for us. The last one was a doozy. This one going to make it up. Not even going to stop. Keep the pain train rolling, baby. Let's just see what happens. Oh, it's deep. It's deep. Oh, <laughs> I thought, I thought she met her match. She did not. She is not done. She ain't going out like that. Taking a look here. So we've got a really tough ridge. I mean, being on top of the ridge is probably best case scenario. I wonder if we could climb that over there. Let me let me just submerge myself again. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? The fact that there's an... Honestly, I think it's cheesier that there's an operator in this game that lets you take 100% water damage than anything else. Like, the mods aside, that... The F-350 mod was pretty cheesy, but that operator is something else. Can we go up here? Hold on, let me delete our pathways. Can we go up right there? I think we might. We're gonna go to reduce tire pressure and let's see what this thing is made of. Obviously gonna have to have some winch help. No freaking way, dude. Absolutely not. Do we even want to do this, though? Like, are we going to have to crawl through this and tie? This feels like a really bad idea, potentially. I think going left there would have been the smart move. I still think it's kind of the smart move. I'm going to keep going anyway. Basically, we just want to be able to explore as much of this area as possible, and I don't think we're going to be able to maneuver around these trees much. Yeah, this, this, if we had the con, this would be good. I'm, I'm, I take it back. I really thought I was top dog there. I'm not. I'm just going to take a couple trees out with me on the way down. That one's not going. I'm at our match here. Try to get past him. Yeah. Let's make this easier, not harder. Honestly, we probably could fly our drone here and just let's just get this area as much as we can and then we're going to go around to the other side. We probably could have flown it when we were up top. Would have been the smart thing to do. Just going to get out of here and run over a Christmas tree farm on our way. We're going to make our way around the ridge and actually get into the, the nitty gritty of this little valley here. I mean, to be honest, none of this is really very conducive to the truck that we're in mate. Uh, no, this is pretty good. <laughs> if we see small stuff, we can just run it over. Not a big deal. That is nice. I mean, we can't go around a lot of stuff. Oh, see, we want to cut it back to the right here. It, it's it's a, a pro and a con. It makes traversal easier when you can run things over. But when you have to try to evade things, it becomes a big issue. See here. Gotta 
split the difference in all of these trees. We're so long sometimes if there's enough trees in like a specific pattern we straight up can't get through. But it is kind of fun bullying the little trees. Get our mirror past that, got it. This is not an easy area. Let's keep pulling ourselves here. We're gonna be just fine. Should be close to a new spot where we can throw the drone up. We're at 31% on this area. I think as soon as we get to this ridge. Wow, okay. Um, let's shut it down. Let's use Binox, 56, 60. 64, 65, looking good there, okay. So we have this whole area down towards where we came. I'm gonna hit this with the drone. I wish there was a way you could pull up the map while you were droning, but there's not. So I always just set up an area, or set up a, a location. And then we know we'll take this, if we can get to the trees, come on. Straight down the mountain back towards the water. Should give us a fair amount. This area here to the right with the tiny lake. I mean, this is a really pretty area. I have no desire to actually go down in here though. So I think we're just gonna be able to pretty much do it all from up on the ridge. This is OP scouting. And our last area is kind of all of this. So I'm just gonna put this here and we'll fly towards that and kind of try to do a loop that should be our last one let's go all right no flight zone they're getting crafty with it oh no wait if there's a no flight zone i i guess we're gonna have to scout with binoculars because we're not gonna be able to get the truck over there that's for sure can we s we might yeah if we go up to the top of the hill here we go girl get up there yes on the perch where you belong <laughs> i can't believe we got something this big up the mountain dude <laughs> this has been a day that's for sure okay i think if we set up like right here we should be able to use the binox and get quite a bit of it 92 percent gonna be some stuff back this way mainly just this now which we should as long as it's not a no-fly zone be able to get with our drone and then we could call it a day this game is so beautiful man i love it so much all right i think that that's it for that one so this one is complete and now it's going to want us to do this one all the way up here which obviously we are going to be going and recovering over here so let's set our objective why did it recover us there i want to recover the truck to the eastern outpost. Okay, that wasted some money for us. We're fine. All right, so we're just going to drive out here. Try to put us somewhere in the middle and fly the drone some more. Almost lost it right there. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves, Trev. I'm going to skip ahead, get us some daylight. Love that. But yeah, man, I, these drone missions, I like playing a trucking game to do trucking things. I want to go deliver some loads, some big, fresh, hot loads. And unfortunately, a lot of this game is just like the going out and looking for stuff. So I think we're just going to have to get... Oh, God. You may not let us through here. We might have a play right here. Oh, this is ugly. Uh, To the left. We should have went left. We're going to have to back it up and go left. Um, we're going to have to find ways to mix it up. So I, I think we're going to do mods. Obviously, like the, the big stuff. I'm excited because at the end of this one, we should unlock the ability to get the roof rack for our, uh, our con. But we're definitely going to have to mix it up. We're going we're gonna to make it more fun than it is at times. We're going to make the most of it. There it is. Look at this. A beautiful highway straight to where we need to go. Let's get up and over this thing, girl. I'm going to try to make it to our objective because I think we might be able to just fly the entire thing if we're at our objective. Come on, baby. Spinning them tires. Oh, my gosh. She just looks so good. 
This this is a thumbnail right here. Look at that thing. Oh, she is gorgeous. I love all the mud on the tires and everything. Come on. Oh. Not ideal, but we can get out of this. The winch is always helpful. Oh, I just... All the axle flex, the way all the tires can move individually. The way the nose of this thing is made to bang into stuff and, and keep on going. Like, this is just so impressive. Don't get turned over here. I mean, honestly... If we could somehow get this up, can we use... Yes. Binoculars is going to make this a lot easier. So unfortunately, we couldn't reach everything with our drone. There were a couple no-fly zones, but we are at 99%. And if we get up here, that should give us the expedition complete. My goodness, this thing is an absolute monster. 20,550 dollars out of that. Unfortunately, we are going to end up selling her. We might buy her back again in the future, but I'm going to go ahead and sell it for $146,100. Get our bankroll looking a little bit better again. And then look at who just popped up right here. So we should have unlocked a new roof piece, the roof rack. We also got a miscellaneous reserve. I didn't even realize we got the medium emergency reserve as well. So this is going to be more fuel and spare parts that we can have. So let's definitely equip that. And now we have an entire roof rack of things that we can fill. So currently we have fuel on the front and sides. I'm going to say let's do more fuel, even more fuel. And then we could go with spare parts for the rest of it. So we could have 400 spare parts. So we could have 400 spare parts on every expedition that we go out on and we're going to be able to take on pretty much anything. Look at that roof rack. We are coming correct and coming prepared, baby. I don't think we could ask for a better scout vehicle. Technically, there is. I think it's called the, the Yar 87. We've had that in previous SnowRunner games as well. But uh, very excited about this. So long road to it, but got it done. Had way too much fun with that Goliath today. I think we're definitely going to have to do some more mods, do some more heavy equipment vehicles, hopefully unlock that one heavy that we can actually get in this game and um yeah i'm what you guys want to see next hope you guys enjoyed i'm loving this series i do kind of miss snow runner a little bit i feel like I, I wish we would have bigger vehicles and more deliveries but this has been a lot of fun so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one